Hey you two, this is React City and Ruff. I'm Ruff. I'm Ruff. And this is. Ha, got you. Uh, Hunter, Hunter, episode one, three, Six. four. four. One, four. three, four. <laughs> we left off. The king is dying. Is dying? But Close very slowly. <laughs> slowly, everybody's dying. Yuppie has already died. Yes, yeah, always yeah. left his poof. Ah. Mm-hmm. Poof is also dying. And Poof is having an existential crisis as we speak. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we were talking about how we thought it put some kind of poison, perhaps radiation, but they haven't really explained that. They haven't really talked about that, but they've kind of shadowed the poor man's rose a couple times. Exactly. What else could that be? And Palm is just knows from yeah. seeing Poof look at Yuppie on the floor. Yeah. So She's sure what, that he's going to die. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That they're yeah. safe. Like, she's that secure. Like, it's over. Yeah, yeah they just have to keep hiding until what what was she saying? Yeah, yeah, they just need time, I think she said. Yeah, so they're gonna try and negotiate or something. Yeah. Not, or pretend to negotiate. Yeah. Yeah. Just try it out for as long as possible. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so maybe we'll figure out if they're dying in this episode, guys. Remember to hit the like button, remember to hit the subscribe button. Also check out the Patreon in the description to see these episodes a whole week early, as well as the uncut version of these episodes. And remember to check out the description to see the link to our merch store. Let's get right into the show. Oh, it's a picture from Vietnam. Mm. Wow. Those people? I do That looks like crabs. Crab. Yeah. yeah, to say that we do that to other species. Oh. Yeah. Poverty in front of luxury. Mm. Stark contrast. Mm. Oh. oh. There's a terrorist bombing. Poisonous, okay. Radiation. Yep. Oh, wow. Recognize that meek? <laughs> oh, I was, bit, I was trying to read. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, oh. They were. Oh. oh my gosh, even animals died. Shame. Oh, oh, so it's not gosh. quite radiation, it's a little bit. Right? <coughs> wow. <laughs> So is it, are they saying it's not quite radiation? It's not quite the radiation itself, no. It's, 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 a, it's, a, it's just it's poison. Yeah, it's just a line of traits, more poison is what throws it off. Yeah, it was almost radiation. <laughs> Hide it. Hide it. You know some stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Can't trust him to tell the truth, so yeah. even when I can see right. Yeah. yeah, he doesn't. He doesn't like. Because <laughs> he's in danger too. So why won't you tell him? I guess he doesn't know that part. I guess, yeah. Maybe he's like the king is stronger. <laughs> oh, he didn't tell him that. Oh, mm-hmm. so he came up with something. Or, or, or they, I think they're just continuing the contest. Okay. Yeah. End time? Yep. Here it goes. <sighs> Where are they now? Amazing. Yep. Uh-oh. Oh, no. <laughs> We kind of like him. Oh, he's dropped. Mm. Okay, scorch marks. He attacked. Mm-hmm. Oh, it didn't even work. <laughs> Wow. Oh, oh, he was writhing for a while. Illuminate. Oh my gosh. Yeah, he just wants to kill everybody. Because he's a little bit of a traitor. 
Yes. Yeah. 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 yeah this. Oh! Oh, he felt hostility. What? Bruh! You had? Bruh! That's just in! <laughs> he inherited his spiritual message. Okay. okay. That's why. Okay. I have to agree with this. Point. Yeah. <laughs> and yet? I can... Oh. Oh. With guilt? Oh, oh. Mr. Rose. Yeah, that he doesn't understand. Tell him the Be story. honest. He, Be he honest. Like, he likes stories. I think. Any gamer loves some stories. <laughs> He's gonna try to kill him. Uh oh. Proper order? Bruh, he's about to smack you at the universe. He's like, I <laughs> am the proper order. What do you mean? I am the state. <laughs> wait to question him. Okay, so don't kill him. Just wait. <sighs> what secret? What do I know? Overthink your way to the truth, come on, man. Oh, he's sweating so much. The message. Oh, secret. Come on, Wilfer. Uh oh. Yeah. So the hatred <laughs> that he has. <laughs> oh, he's so scary. Oh, he oh. gave me a direct order. Oh, no. Oh. Yeah, he's ready to die. He's about to die, anyways. Cool. Just kill everybody. Yeah, you can do whatever you want. Flowery speech time. So he just won't say anything. Is this his end? Of course not. Look at that hand hovering there. <laughs> Love him? It's like, dang, that's my bro, that's my homie. <laughs> oh, quenched his flame. <laughs> it's like, oh, it's yeah. like, wow. Even upon death, okay. Wow, that stopped him. He's hungry. <gasps> oh no. No. Oh. Look at the eye. Oh my gosh. Is he losing his hair from stress? Oh. Bro! Oh, he's, that's he's real life memories. <gasps> the answer weird, man. Right? <laughs> <laughs> this what the heck is happening? <laughs> oh, don't show me that. Which was? <laughs> he 
think he got it. He hit enlightenment. Nice. <laughs> he did it. He remembers. There she is. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> Good job, little man. They're overthinking the stuff. <laughs> His superpower is actually overthinking this whole time. Yeah. That's why they see this so early and yes. annoying. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. Remembering the golden times. Yes. That's how he remembers it. <laughs> That's adorable. Uh, Poof might kill him, though. Yeah. Well, after the fact. It's too late now. Yeah. He sees it. Oh. oh. And you took that from him. Yeah. He's drooling. That was gross. <laughs> <laughs> he loves being naked. <laughs> this is true. <laughs> this is, I don't like this. No. <laughs> no punishment. Okay, Poof gets to live till he dies. <laughs> Oh, uh -huh. this is true. Smart one. That's a question. Oh. Oh. Wow. Thanks. <laughs> oh, he, uh, oh. Oh. Oh, well, Yeah. <laughs> that was great. That was really good. Episode. That was great. That was really, really good. That was amazing. That was so good. So good. Discussion. 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 Great episode. Amazing. <laughs> so good. Mm -hmm. You know, this is one of the shows that time really flies, but I, I thought they'd just put the Hunter x Hunter little middle section mark early. But they didn't. No. It's like it legitimately just went by like nothing, despite yeah. being all talk. Yeah. It was very good, masterfully done. Yes. Mm. The king has officially taken the human side. Yep. Yes. You remember? In his the... mind. Yes. <laughs> yeah. yeah, this is true. Yeah. I, I don't know if it's that he takes the human side or that he's just like, I don't care. Where's Kamugi? Do whatever you want. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> he's being more. Um, empathetic or understanding of situations and the mm. reasons behind why people do things. Mm -hmm. But for the monster, would have just eaten Welfin and yeah. moved on. He wouldn't yeah. care. That's true. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, but from the top, we have the the, the rose it was indeed poisonous. Yeah. Yes. Mm. And we were theorizing before it might be a po actual poison poison, but it just sounds like like radiation. extreme radiation yeah. poisoning. Mm -hmm. Hyper radiation. Makes Hyper you radioactive, radioactive literally. Makes Hunter you radioactive radiation. and then makes the person next to you radioactive and that person dies and makes the everybody yeah. around them radioactive. So everybody who's like affected by it just has to stay in one place. Yeah. So and die. Actually we think about it now. All these people standing around while we're just walking in the middle of them. Oh no. Well Finn just was near the king. Like what's and Wolfin was near you, uh, Wolfin already aged a, bit, a bunch and is like falling apart. His immune system can't take anymore. Yeah. Dude, the entire nation of Iskorto is in this two mile area. <laughs> oh my gosh. 
and NGL. Like, that entire island just got wiped out. Yeah. Dude. Okay. So, uh, the king has a very interesting take on, uh, what, what do you call it? Spiritual message. Mm-hmm. So, he inherited a spiritual message. So, once he uses his end, if his end touches you, from then on, he can read your emotions, yeah. but to a deeper level right. than what Shia could do. Yeah. Mm. The, the weird thing is, if that were true, how come he didn't read, like, or understand what Palm and Hikalga were doing? Or maybe when what they were just, was just fear upon feeling it run. So, that's all he sensed of their, their emotions. He didn't really pay attention. I feel like this is something he figured out just now. Maybe. That could be it. And I was also thinking maybe proximity is important. Like, mm. looking at the person to, to actually pay attention to their thoughts yeah. or their feelings. Mm-hmm. That makes sense. So, when he gets close to the girl in Chicago, Palm. The girl. <laughs> the girl. <laughs> it's like the girl or the, girl, the guy. Um, then maybe he'll be able to read them. Or just use his end again, I guess. Mm. Yeah, I don't think he has like, continually use it. I, mm. I feel like... Yeah, because he was just like, I know what he was thinking to Shia. Yeah. Mm. Well, that was also probably like spiritual message upon, on top of his end, on top of being like a, a, the same being. True, true. The other thing I was thinking, like, if Pom knows he's radioactive, why does she want to meet with him? <laughs> they should be just... like hiding somewhere. Just keep, just don't meet him. <laughs> I think they're, they are just buying time, I guess. Yeah, I, I think it's just they they signed up to possibly die on this mission, and oh, maybe true. maybe even if he's poisonous, it's not like a as soon as you walk by him instantly, but maybe it's a continued mm. effect of being around him. Kind maybe of I I was kind of thinking that maybe it's the effect of like the the person has has to actually die. Yeah. Oh no, like when the they... radiation radioaction has to radioactive. I was, I was gonna say they said that the they keep being radioactive to, or they keep being poisonous to other people until they die until I thought it was after no it was until they die hmm interesting okay uh, but yeah we also Yubi's dead the king yeah. was I mean the king's not showing emotion about it but he clearly cared yeah. he's like you're the one who killed Yubi yeah, too often right. like, I'm gonna kill you mm-hmm. yeah. but he, he, he it must be such a confusing situation for him it's like why did you kill Welfin I mean, why well, did he kill Yuki? Why is Yuki out there? Where is Patel? What's this thing in my mind? There's just so much yes, going on right now. Yes. Him, so I can understand why he's just not jumping at the bit for a lot of things. Yeah, he, he wants to get information. Yeah. And also he's incredibly frustrated at Poof. Oh yeah. my gosh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And there's all of a sudden a truck outside. Mm-hmm. And Yuki's in front of the truck. Mm-hmm. And then he, that's probably how he found Wealthy, because the footsteps. The, the footsteps, footsteps yeah. Prints. So he saw him out there and it's like it was you mm-hmm. someone on crutches like just so many questions yeah. why are you on crutches <laughs> why are you bald now <laughs> no mention of that and also when um what's his name poof was you know going all googly eyes over the king being so amazing with reading Welfin's mind mm-hmm. he was uh, he's like why do I feel this unease mm-hmm. so he knows something's wrong with him mm-hmm. but he he also feels some unease about the situation I think it's because he doesn't know that the king is also um, dying slowly mm-hmm. yeah because the roses appeared around the king and then they started to wilt it was like something that's was killing him mm-hmm. and then it foreshadowed to also being on him so yeah I think that's what it is I think it's what comes is there something come before he um Welf had just suddenly aged what's his name Poof gave a direct order oh, to, to the, the king can get mad and he was like who are you talking to <laughs> yeah <laughs> at the end of the day he's humoring Poof by yeah. your ass contest yeah. like, I'm still the king it's funny how mad he gets I mean I get I get it it's just like <laughs> I'm the king don't tell me to kill somebody <laughs> Remember when he was just born, though? He yeah. was like, he was really off the rails. Mm-hmm. Like, he would smack people and kill people. He killed that guard immediately. Yeah. Like, he was like, I'm hungry. And he was like, you, King, you have to be oh, dead. Mm-hmm. He was, he was like, like hot tempered. Stabbed his mom. Someone goes to help her, kills him because he's not paying attention to him. Yeah. Yeah. And he tried to kill Patalo the first thing, remember? Oh, it's yeah. Like, he smacked yeah. her, but she was too strong. She was too strong. Like, yeah. like best oh. way to eat humans is to eat their brains. Or bang. You're still alive. Cool. Yeah, <laughs> they're my favorite. <laughs> yeah, mm-hmm. uh, that's actually still holds true. It's, it's, he, he might respect her the most because she does talk back to him. Remember when she, she was does. saying you should probably stay up here and not go down there where the intruders are. Mm-hmm. I remember. That's probably why I, I never thought about that before. But cool. Yeah, 
Yeah, I never thought about it, but they all like embodied loyalty in different ways. Yeah. That like, UP was just a guard dog. Shia was like loyal to what the potential, mm-hmm. like what you could be, and then she was loyal to just keeping him safe from things that maybe mm-hmm. he doesn't understand or like trying to guide him along the way. Mm-hmm. Early, early. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Kind of the maternal yeah. takeover. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. But let him grow the direction he wants, but like still help him along that path. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I think the age thing came after that where mm-hmm. he's like, I'm hungry. Yeah. Well, Finn. And Wilfred was like, I am food. <laughs> <laughs> immediately aged. Like, oh. you imagine that that level of fear. Mm-hmm. You just immediately That's what aged. happened to Nov. Nov, yeah. So this is a thing in the show, I guess. Yeah. You immediately aged. Yeah, I remember at the time we were, I was wondering if it was N or not, but it hadn't actually touched him. And then now this is just another instance of, you no know, emotions are extremely mm-hmm. prevalent in this show and they can have mm-hmm. rapid effects on the body. Yeah. yeah. I, I guess it was the, the contest of, like, being so f- scared it's killing you, but also really not wanting to die. Like, both <laughs> together. Them, like, yeah. Fighting. It. So you just age. Mm. You're just old now. <laughs> okay. His face shape changed. Yeah. <laughs> just like a, Yeah. Uh, then aged Welfin mm. goes through like parallel dimensions mm-hmm. of thinking. His overthinking powers take over. Yeah, brain and blast. Brain blast, basically. Mm. He like, gets the word. He barely got it out, and yeah. it doesn't even look like he registered that he did. <laughs> no. No, he told his head like he didn't know what he said. Yeah. He did get it. Mm, okay. Word, <laughs> word, word, word. Yeah, I, I really enjoyed that. Yeah. And there's a lot of times that things ca- characters can say things that it seems like it comes out of nowhere. I, like, we've had that complaint earlier where people just figured things out with very little information. Mm-hmm. But this character, that scene made it make sense. Makes mm-hmm. sense, yeah. aged instantly. This is a life or death moment. He is the guy who overthinks everything. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, I really enjoyed it. Yeah. yeah. It, it came together so well. So perfectly. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He like, was for that scene. If it was, like, literally any other character, we'd have just been like, really? Yeah. Yeah. This is true. Like, you're not going to do that, but they, well, they like, did see it. Yeah, that and he, like, he's he constantly, like, getting, like, just to the left of the bullseye of, like, what our, <laughs> our protagonist's plan was. Yeah. like, bro. <laughs> of course, when he goes brain blast, he actually hits it, you know? Yes. It's great. First and last time in his life. Because mm-hmm. we don't know how long he's going to live after this. Yeah, and he says, he yells at the king, the only person I'll ever acknowledge as king is Gyro. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, I guess that was just... After the Nirvana-esque moment, he comes to his senses like, no, what, what am I at my core? It's mm-hmm. like, I'm not just going to back down. I'm going to say what I came here to say. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. And the king was like, uh, I hope you find him and live as a human. Weep. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and just before that, he has he, the king, has um, enlightenment. And remembers in Kamugi. Yeah, and and Shia is heartbroken to see just how much he values her. He's he sees he sees his mind palace. Yes. And all of the just the, the happiness. Yes. Fields of gold. Yes. You know that one solitary tree that everybody always, loves. Always. <laughs> just the one. <laughs> Two is too much. <laughs> I wonder why. I think about it as like it's just one little place that you can go to be in shade, but you can see the beautiful sun everywhere else, but you're safe under the tree kind of thing. Mm-hmm. They weren't even know. under the tree. No, though. like 50 feet away. <laughs> it's true. I, I think a part of it is just like it makes it feel like it's a spot for you. Yeah. It's like if there's a whole open room and there's one chair in the room, it feels like that's meant My for chair. you almost. Yeah, yeah something like that. Uh, our tree. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, so I mean, Shia sees how much she means to him. It's like, I never stood a chance. This is truly what he is. Anything else is me pretending that he was supposed to be this thing. Yeah. He was not supposed to be this thing. This yeah. is who he is. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And he's already changed to the core. Mm. And it's it's all come back. Yeah. He's not killing them. He's like, interrogate them and let them go. Mm-hmm. Let them go. Letting Welfin go. Yeah. Yeah. Like, he doesn't know he's about to die, mm-hmm. but... He, what is his new plan? Like he has all the, is he gonna just continue with this plan? Do, do all these people, you know, the deed? Do the deed? <laughs> Please elaborate because there's <laughs> the people, the people, Garto people. Is he gonna keep the eat plan to go? Okay. The, whatever the plan was, con- convert and eat. Uh huh. Or does he now have a new view on human beings? Okay, because do, do the deed has a different kind of I know. <laughs> I just, I just like, he was like, I'm not, I'm, I'm going to stay here. <laughs> oh, don't notice. Going. <laughs> I mean, he said he was hungry, yeah. which I mean, that's the most basic quality the ants have had and he just forgot about it. It's like, 
So he's talking about Kamugi. I imagine yeah. he's going to go to Kamugi. He knows where she is. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He should have said where she was. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep. Courtyard. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah, because now with the information of Kamugi, he can imagine, oh, that person I saw back then, that was that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's what he thought. He was like, the octopus and the woman must have gone down the open door. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Uh, did So did those uh, th- four four women actually leave, or are they just still Oh my there gosh, imagine. The truck bay. Yeah, because, yeah. <laughs> They're probably still there. They're probably still They're there. Probably still there. Yeah. He didn't say he detected them. And he well, he only did it on the surface level. Oh, right. Because okay. he didn't detect the, the, the palm in Chicago either. He only found wealth and it went to him. Mm-hmm. He stopped as soon as he saw him re- respond. Mm-hmm. Well, he, next episode, we'll just see him walk by them like, huh, I really got to ask more questions. <laughs> 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 oh, he lacks them that question in the next episode, guys. Subscribe button. Also check out the Patreon in the description to see these episodes a whole week early, as well as the uncut version of these episodes. And also check out the description to see the link to our merch store. We will see you guys in the city. Bye-bye. Bye. Oh, bye. A special thanks to our patrons: Arminius, Cubook, SpongeBob's Wrath, and Hound of the Red Plains.